A drive-by shooting with a strange twist has left one man dead and three others wounded in south-central Los Angeles. At least 10 rounds were fired at the group from a stretch limousine. It happened just before midnight in the 200 block of West 47th Place. The man killed was 19 years old. Those wounded range in age from 15 to 28 years. Police say all the survivors are gang members. No suspects have been arrested in this case. A young pregnant woman is the latest victim of gang violence tonight, hit by a bullet while standing in her kitchen. Like so many of these stories, this incident has neighbors in Inglewood more than a little scared. Chris Blatchford has a report. Eight bullet holes mark the outside of this Inglewood apartment building. One of those bullets last night ripped through this second story window. And 21-year-old Maria Garcia, eight months pregnant, while standing in her kitchen was hit in the chest. Neighbor Marbella Palomar calls it frightening. I was in the room with my kids, and as soon as I heard the gunshots, I grabbed them and I hit the floor and took them to the farthest room from the house. The building is full of children, and neighborhood parents are concerned that it might be their house that is hit next time. This was the second time in two weeks this apartment building was strafed with bullets. Area residents say a teenage boy who lives here is involved with street gangs that Maria Garcia was unfortunate enough to be sharing the apartment with his family. Many residents don't want to go on camera for fear of reprisal from gangs, but most share the same concerns. No, they're amateurs. They're just shooting to kill whoever they want to get, revenge or whatever, and they could end up shooting somebody else or shooting towards our side instead of shooting the right house and the right people. Police confirmed some gang members were seen in the neighborhood prior to the shooting but say they have no suspects in custody. Maria Garcia was in critical condition when she was admitted here at Martin Luther King Hospital last night. But doctors say her condition is improving and that her baby should be okay, while police say they want those responsible for shooting her in the first place. In South Central Los Angeles, Chris Blatchford, Channel 2 Action News. Drug dealers who do business by pay telephone will soon be getting disconnected under a pilot program given the green light today by the Los Angeles City Council. This is a plan to make it tougher for the dealers to do their work. The pay phones around MacArthur Park will get old-fashioned rotary dials instead of push buttons. That is so dealers can't use their beepers. And some pay phones will be altered. They won't be able to receive incoming calls.